So listen to this shit. I come to Copenhagen, and um, when I when I travel to other countries, boys and girls, believe it or not, I am on my best behavior. I always try to be overly polite. I try and learn a couple of words, and uh, I try to figure out their 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 money system. So I'm not like going, you know, you know, one of the weirdest things when you go to another country is you immediately feel like a child, especially if you don't know the language, and you just. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is money transactions. You just come up and you're like, hey, like hoping they speak English. You almost say like, hello with an accent, like, hello. <laughs> That's what you do. You basically speak English in your interpretation of their accent, hoping they're going to understand you. And then they're like, on 2,000 Deutschmarks or something. And then you just <laughs> you have a handful of fucking coins. And you just guess, and you hand it to them. You know, you just feel like a little kid, like, is this enough for that stuff? And you hand it to them, and then you just wait. And you're waiting for that, like, uh, could I have a little more? Or are you fucking shitting me? Or they just sort of take it. And um, anyways, what's cool over here is uh, Denmark. They got they have really cool, uh, I like their money. Their, I like Any sort of money that has a little hole drilled in the middle of it. You know, like some little Putian people used it as wheels and they somehow removed the axle and then the giant people used it as currency. I like that type of stuff. So anyway, so I come over here. I'm on my best fucking behavior. And when I'm in the States and somebody comes over there and they're from another country, I try to be extra nice to them so they have something nice to say. So anyway, so I come here to Copenhagen, um, which is in Denmark for all you Americans. Fellow Americans, I should say. Look at me trying to separate myself as if I could find it on a map before I came here. Um, we jump in the cab and I'm talking to the promoter who's going to take me all the way through Scandinavia. You know, that has all the ladies that Hitler used to rub one out to. Want to have blonde hair and blue eyes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And um, this is one of the most fucked up podcasts so far. How many times can you bring up Hitler? Let's go for the record, shall we? It's early on in podcasting history. Um, the first person to set the record, or at least the first time it was tracked, was Bill Burr back in the early 2000s. He had a podcast called The Monday Morning Podcast. It was highly successful until one day it was permanently suspended from iTunes. If you turn to page 17 in your Monday morning podcast textbooks, um, so anyways, I'm in this fucking cab. And I have this thing, um, I can never remember if from west to east if it goes, if it goes Norway, Sweden, Finland, or if it goes Finland, Sweden, Norway. I always fucking forget. Okay? And why wouldn't I forget? Those fuckers are never in the goddamn news. Other than that, that tragedy in Norway. But other than that, they're cool countries. They don't fuck with people. So they don't make the news. The only reason why these fucking cunts over here know where America is, is because we're bombing people. You know? Because we have bases in their country. Because we're annoying the shit out of so much of the world. That's why they know where we're at. So I'm in this cab and I'm having this conversation with the promoter. Going, Does it go Norway, Norway, Sweden, Finland or Finland, Sweden, Norway? I can never remember. And he explains it to me. I go, oh, okay, okay. And then the cab ride ends and then the cab driver turns around and goes, Oh, the Americans are so stupid with the geography. And then he goes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Try to be passive aggressive. I said, oh, yeah, you fucking Danish cunt. Where's Tennessee in relation to Missouri? And he goes, I don't know. I'm stupid, too. Go fuck yourself with your passive aggressive. This cunt said that shit. Americans, they're so stupid with the geography. And then he does this little pussy smile. And he's just kidding. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're serious, you miserable cunt. Oh, yeah, you're so smart. Did you go to fucking pre-med to become a taxi cab driver? You fucking douche. And right there, I swear to God, in my head, I was like, fuck Denmark and fuck this show tonight. For like the next half hour, that's what I was thinking. And uh, then I was like, no, I can't judge the whole fucking city. 
I can't judge the whole country because one douche driving a cab. All right? Put yourself in America. Do you find cab drivers in America to be pleasant? No, I do not. Do you find them to be slightly miserable? Yes, I do. If you drove a cab, would you be a mes miserable cunt? Yes, I would be. And then I said, fuck it. Let's give these Danish cunts a fucking show. And um, actually, I was still nervous before I went in to do the show. And, uh, you know, you come all the way over here. And as much as they speak English, you're, you're kind of wondering, you know, how much are they going to get? And fortunately, the night before, I was in London and I just made this decision probably about, about 10 minutes, like for the first 10 minutes of my set in England, I felt like I was a little on my heels going, and here's this joke and are you going to get this? Okay, here's another joke. Are you going to get this? And then I finally just said, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just doing my shit, all right? And if they laugh, cool. If they don't, oh, Jesus, is this going to be room service? Hang on one second. Hang on one second. You're going to get to hear me talk to a Danish person here. Hello? Hi. Yes. Yes, is there anything from the minibar? No, no, no. Minibar is cool. Okay. Okay? Thank all right. You. Thank you. Oops. I got it. All right. Thank you. Goddamn European doors. I can't even close them. Um, so anyways. Yeah, so I kind of, I learned that when I was in doing the show in London. I just said, to hell with it, you know. Just say, just do the shit like you're standing in the middle of Kentucky. Fuck it. Just do your act. And uh, if they laugh, they laugh. And if they don't, I will address it. I will then make fun of the fact that I was so stupid that you thought I was going to get it or uh, something will come to me. And then I was able to relax and I had this fucking awesome show in London. So I was like, well, it worked in London. Let me uh, let me do that over here. So I show up to this place in uh, Denmark and it's probably like a, I don't know, 400 seater. And I'm not going to lie to you, only about 125 people showed up, you know? But why, why would 400 people show up? I've never been on TV over here, whatever. This is the whole purpose of it. And I got free DVDs for all these people, right? So the the, the, the basic marketing strategy is I'm going to go on stage, fucking destroy, and then they're going to take these DVDs and go, oh, you must see this America next time it comes to town, yeah? Uh, I apologize to anybody from fucking Denmark who, because uh, I keep making you guys talk like fucking SS people. I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't do your accent. Go fuck yourselves. I'm trying. So, um, they have this dude from Sweden open the show and he comes up and he's speaking, uh, I don't know, Swedish, Danish. I don't know what the fuck. And, uh, right. And uh, the crowd is, you know, sort of giggling, sort of laughing. It was kind of a weird thing where there was a bunch of comedians in the crowd. So uh, this guy goes on stage. He's a comedian. He's a newer comedian. I don't know what the deal is. And uh, they're sort of laughing, but not really. And then in my head, I'm like, oh, no, fuck. Is this what's going to happen to me? And uh, But I don't know. I just felt like this great vibe in the room. I went out there. And I and, the, and I did what I would do in the States because I was sitting there in my head going, that fucking cunt in the taxi cab. Americans, that's so stupid with the geography, was bugging the shit out of me. But I didn't want to go up there and shit on one of their countrymen because I thought they would all pull back and then they wouldn't like me. Then I was like, well, what if this was the States? What if you were down south? You're clearly a fucking Yankee. If some guy said, hey, buddy, you fucking kick the sass going to rise again. That's what the fuck I would open with. So I said, to hell with it. That's what I'm doing here. And I went out there and I shit all over the guy. And uh, and I basically said something to the effect of, yeah, did you go to medical school to become a taxi driver? And they laughed their asses off. And I was like, oh, look at this. It's just like America, except they're bilingual. And uh, And everything went great after that. So... And there's my European story so far.